Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about logical operators in java programming so guys these are some of the logical operators as we can see the very first logical operator is the and operator and guys these are used in conjunction with the other relational operators as well so as we can see in order to have a single relational operator we can only put a single relational operator that is greater than or less than symbol but guys let us say we want to check multiple conditions that is let's say a is greater than b and b is also greater than b in this case we have to use the and operator that is one of the logical operators in this case if both the conditions are true then it will go in the block of code that is being followed after this condition or else it will return false and it will go in the else part another logical operator is the or operator in this case again it will check whether this condition is satisfied fight or this condition is satisfied now guys the only big difference between this and operator and the or operator is that when we are using the and operator all the conditions should be true in order to go to the following block of code whereas in the or operator only one condition is required to be true in order to go to the following block of code and then guys we have the not operator as well so this we will check with the help of examples so guys let us move to the examples over here let me just clear the screen over here and then we have int num1 it is equal to 10 in this case and then we have int num2 it is equal to 20 in this case now guys let us say we want to use the and operator over here so let's say we provide if num1 is greater than 5 which is in this case yes it is greater than 5 since the value is 10 over here we provide the and operator in this way over here that is two ampersand symbols over here and then after the space we can provide the other number let's say num2 is greater than 10 and yes in this case the num2 is actually greater than 10 so what we will do is we will provide the print statement we can just provide it as yes and then in the else part what we will do is we will provide the print statement as no in this case so guys what we are doing over here is whether num1 is greater than 5 so this is one condition in this case yes it is greater than 5 and the next condition that is num2 is greater than 10 and then yes in this case num2 is actually greater than 10 so both the conditions are satisfying over here and both the conditions will return true so what this logical operator does is it will check whether both the conditions that is this condition and this condition is true and if it is true then this line of code will get executed that is this block of code will get executed or else the control flow will go in the else part and then this block of code will get executed let me save this file and try running this code over here so as we can see yes is getting printed now guys let us say we want to change the condition or else we want to change the value in such a way that one of the conditions is false over here so let's say num1 is greater than 5 we want to make it as false so what i will do is i will change the value to 4 in this case num1 is greater than 5 no because num1 value is 4 in this case so this false will be encountered and the control flow will go to the else part so let me just save this file and try running this code over here so as we can see no is getting printed guys similarly let's say instead of this condition that is the first condition we make the second condition as false so let me just change the value of num1 to 10 again and now what we will do is we will make this condition as false that is num2 greater than 10 it should be no in this case I'll, so i'll put the value of num2 as 9 so 9 is not greater than 10 over here so let me save this file and try running this code so as we can see no is again getting printed since this condition is false over here and guys in this way whenever we are using the logical operator of end all the conditions should be satisfied in order to go to this block of code over here now guys let me go back to the original values that is num2 is 20 and num1 is 10 let me save this file and try running this code so both the conditions are getting satisfied num1 greater than 5 yes it is num2 greater than 10 yes it is so yes is getting printed now guys i'll show you another example with the or operator so instead of this and we will put or now guys i have told you the only difference between and and or is that in the or operator it expects only one condition to be satisfied so at least one of them either this condition or this condition should get satisfied if both the conditions are satisfied then also it will execute this block of code so let me just save this file and try running this code over here so as we can see yes is getting printed now guys what we will do is we will put num1 greater than 5 
we will change the value of num1 in such a way that this condition will return false so let me go back to the num1 value and change it to 4 like we had done in the end operator and let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see yes is getting printed in this case whereas if we change the operator to end over here and save this file and try running this code so it goes to the no that is in the else part that's because end is expecting all the conditions to be satisfied so over here one condition is not getting satisfied that is num1 is greater than 5 but in the or what we can do is i'll just change this to or save this file and try running this code yes is getting printed over here this yes that's because when num1 is greater than 5 is checked it returns false but or can expect the other condition to be true so the control flow goes to this condition that is num2 greater than 10 yes in this case and this returns true so any one condition is returning true that means or will help us to execute this block of code that is in the if statement and the same has happened over here yes is getting printed over here now what if this condition is also false so let me just change this num2 to 9 in this case and then let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see no is getting printed so the control flow is coming to this else part that's because num1 greater than 5 no in this case num2 is greater than 10 no in this case so both the conditions are false over here so the or doesn't allow to go in this block of code and hence the control flow goes to the else part now guys there is another important operator that is the not operator so this will just reverse the condition so over here as we can see this is false and this is false that is the reason the control flow is not printing this statement but what if we just surround these conditions with the open and close brackets so this entire thing is false for now but what we can do is we can reverse this condition over here that is false over here in this case will become true so we can do that using the not operator so as we can see this not we have provided so what is happening over here is this part is false so in short this has become false so not of false will become true in this case and this line of code will get printed so let me just undo this part let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see yes is getting printed over here that's because we have done not over here and in this way we can easily use these logical operators based on the requirements so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is conditional expressions in java programming so stay tuned